Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some wicked chops with lots and lots of backspin. The demonstration in this video comes from my coach, Ferenc, and Ferenc has a very nice chopping action and can get some real deadly backspin on his chops. So if you want to be able to chop with lots and lots of backspin, then keep watching. A chop is a defensive shot, which we usually play further back from the table. And it could be a backhand chop, it could be a forehand chop. And typically we'd play this shot when our opponent gives us a topspin attack and we want to return the ball with backspin and make it difficult for our opponent to attack again. Let's take a look at Ferenc's chopping action. And there are three key things that I want to point out here. First, let's have a look at Ferenc's feet. Now you can see that Ferenc is staying relatively square to the table. Maybe there's a slight angle as he does his backhand chop, and maybe there's a slight angle as he's doing his forehand chop. But as a general rule, Ferenc is staying relatively square to the table. Next, let's look at Ferenc's waist. As he plays his backhand chop, he rotates to his left and then rotates back into a neutral position. Same thing on his forehand chop. He has a rotation to his right and then rotates forward, finishing in a neutral position. Now let's look at the swing. We'll start with the backhand chop again. You can see that Ferenc gets his bat up to his shoulder position and then it swings down to his knee position and then he, with his backhand chop, he has a little bit of a follow through there, but goes from shoulder to knee. Same thing with the forehand chop. He starts with his back higher, around shoulder height, then it swings down towards his knee and a little bit of a follow through. So this idea of going from shoulder to knee is a really simple way of thinking about doing this chop. It gives you a good idea about where your back should start and where your back should finish. Going from shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee. Let's look at the contact. Ferenc has an open bat angle and then that allows him to contact towards the bottom of the ball, okay? Backhand chop, forehand chop. And Ferenc is trying to brush the ball, he's trying to spin the ball. He's not trying to hit it, he's trying to get that brushing contact. And Ferenc also has a lot of acceleration. Okay, you can see from his stroke, he gets into position and then accelerates. And the acceleration plus the brushing contact towards the bottom part of the ball, that's what generates lots and lots of backspin. Ideally, you want to keep your chops low over the net. They're the ones which are really hard to return. Now to get your chops low over the net, try to get your contact around about net height. That should allow you to chop the ball in a straight line, keeping the ball low over the net. In this demonstration, Ferenc is chopping using long pimples. And it's certainly easier to chop if you're using long pimples because the long pimples are less impacted by the incoming topspin and it's very easy to generate lots of backspin with the long pimples. But it's also perfectly possible to chop using a normal inverted rubber too. As long as you get the technique right, get the acceleration and get the brushing contact, then you can still do very good chops with um, normal inverted rubbers too.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope these tips help you develop some wicked chops of your own. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.